Well, hello, Bronx Community College Early Childhood Center family. I am so, so happy to be with you once again. As always, I hope you're staying happy, healthy, and safe. Welcome to another exciting episode of Puppet Time with Mr. Andy. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 now, usually at this time, we make what? Yes, you are right. We make noise. That's correct. However, today, we're gonna do something different. What different? Instead of showing appreciation for all those amazing first responders out there who have been working so hard and that we are so grateful for, today we are going to celebrate you. Yeah, you. My friends, you are incredible. I am honored to be your teacher. And as your teacher, I wanna tell you, I will do everything I can to support you and your dreams. You just keep being the amazing people that you are, and you will go very, very far, my friends. That's right. So now, I'm gonna clap for you, okay? Because I am so proud of you, all right? Here we go. Take my claps. Now, clap for yourselves. Ready? Here we go. I'll clap with you. Ready? Clap. Great. Now, let's see. Let's pat ourselves on the back and say, good job. Yes, good job. Good job. That's right. That feels really good. All right. Give yourself a, a virtual little hug. Pat on the back. Pat on the back. Good job. High five. Good job. Now, I'm very excited for this episode. So, let's do it. Are you ready? I'm going to snap and I'll be right back. Here we go. Wait, where's Mr. Andy? He's not there. He snapped his fingers, but he's not there. What? I'm right here. <laughs> um. Anyway, in the last episode, we talked about amazing caterpillars. So cool, and how they go through an incredible, incredible change in their lifetimes. They go from being a caterpillar and they change themselves into this little pupa or chrysalis, and then inside the pupa or chrysalis, they transform. Whoa, there's that cool word that we know so well. They transform into a caterpillar. Wow! Anyway, today I have an exciting book about a place where many animals live. No, that was funny. No, not the Bronx Zoo. Good try. This place is called a pond. What? Have you ever heard of a pond? Do you know what a pond is? Yes, that's right. It's a small body of water. It's like a tiny lake. And in this pond, you will see so many types of animals and insects, like frogs and baby frogs, which are called tadpoles, and baby geese, and big adult geese, and dragonflies, and baby turtles, and adult turtles, and you'd see big, huge birds called herons who have really, really long legs. And you would see baby fish called minnows. I love that word, minnows. 
Bingo! <laughs> and you would see whirly gigs. I mean, if I didn't love the word minnow, if I love the word minnow, I definitely love the word whirly gig. That is such a cool word. Whirly gigs are so cool. They're like, they're not even like, they are bugs that can skate or swim across the surface of the pond's water. It's so cool. You could also see birds scooping down and into the water to grab a fish for dinner. Ooh, fish for dinner. Yum. Mmm, sushi. That sounds really good. Sushi for dinner. Anyway, sorry, Mr. Andy, where was I? <laughs> Ooh. You might see crawfish. They're like little lobsters and they have these big claws. And they click and clack. You might see ducks. Oh, I love ducks. They're so funny. I love how they would be like swimming along the top of like of the pond and then all of a sudden they'll just flip over and dip their head underwater while putting their butts <laughs> in the air. Do you know why they do this? Do you? Yes, that's right. They are trying to catch a fish for dinner. Oh, sushi. Mm. Anyway, they're trying to catch a fish for dinner in their beaks. Wow. What else would you see? Yeah, a raccoon. Mm -hmm. A raccoon may come along and might sneak along and then wash themselves in the water of the pond. You could also see a muskrat. That's a really interesting word, a muskrat, which kind of looks like a beaver, but without that big beaver tail. You may see a muskrat burrowing or building with sticks. Okay, now you may be asking, Mr. Andy, what about transformation? I thought we were talking about transformation. So in the springtime, in the summertime, a pond, that little water place where all of these animals live, it would be booming and bustling like New York City. People would be going everywhere. Not people, I should say. Animals would be going everywhere. However, when the weather starts to change and starts to get cold and summer turns into fall, things start to slow down. The pond starts to transform. And as fall turns into winter, Animals go to sleep during the winter, and the pond may transform into a winter wonderland. And the pond's colors may go from greens and yellows and reds, and they would change or transform into grays and blues and whites. Wow, transformation. You know what? Let me read you this really cool book that I was telling you about. I haven't even told you the name of it yet. It's called In the Small, Small Pond by Denise Fleming. It's such a great book. Okay, sit back, relax, watch, and listen to this incredible book, In the Small, Small Pond. Are you ready? In the Small, Small Pond by Denise Fleming. In the Small, Small Pond. In the Small, Small Pond. Wiggle, jiggle, tadpoles, wriggle. Waddle, wade, geese parade. Hover, shiver, wings quiver. Drows, doze, eyes close. Lash, lunge, herons plunge.
splitter, splatter, minnows scatter. Circle, swirl, whirly gigs twirl. Sweep, swoop, swallows, scoop. Click, clack, claws, crack. Dip, tails, flip. Splish, splash, pause, flash. Pile, pack, muskrats, stack. Cold night, sleep tight, small, small pond. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that really great book, In the Small Small Pond by Denise Fleming. Now, I have a little treat for you, for you, for you, for you. I thought, you know what? I want to make my own version of a pond. I don't have a pond here in my apartment, so I, that would be really incredible if I did. That would be amazing. I'm sure my dogs would be very happy. They'd be swimming around in the pond, but I don't have a pond in my apartment. So I thought, why don't I make my own pond? Why don't I make a little animated pond with some funny voices like Mr. Andy does? Like I can animate and the animals and put really funny voices to the to, to them and see what happens. So this is my version of a pond. It's called Mr. Andy's Pond. And I really hope you like it. Uh, see if you can tell when my pond starts to transform. Are you ready? Here we go. Come on, children. Let's go, tadpoles. Swim, swim, swim. Wee. Let's go this way. Wee. Come on, tadpoles. Keep up. Here we go. Okay, children geese. Let's jump in the old water and go for a swim. Let's go. Wait for me. Wait for me. Hello oh, over there, children. Is everything okay? Are you just taking a nap on that beautiful rock? Heron, Heron, Heron. We're Heron. Let's go. We walk really fast. Come on. Minnows, 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 minnows. Bugs, 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 water bugs, water bugs, water bugs, swimming water bugs. Let's get some dinner. Let's do some fighting with our claws. No, fighting's bad. No, no, no. Can you get that fish? Can you get that fish? Quack, 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 quack. Get that fish, get that fish. Quack, 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 quack. I can, I can. Come on. I'm a sneaky raccoon and I'm going to wash my hands in this pond. <laughs> Bye now. Ooh, ooh. I'm a muskrat and I'm going to put my pile of twigs and sticks and hay right here and I'm, I'm going to go now. Bye. It's getting cold. Ice, 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 ice. Snow. Snow, snow, snow. Snow, snow. 
Like that my friends okay were you able to see when the pawn changed or transformed yes yes that's right when it began to freeze and ice over that's right when you start to go ice, 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 and then the snow came everything started to change didn't it when it got colder i wonder if it would change again when spring comes I bet it does. I bet it transforms from grays and white and from blues. I bet it goes back to greens and yellows and flowers of red and purple and blue. Oh, incredible. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, let's get on with some puppetry. For today's exciting puppetry lesson, I decided to make one of the animals in the story. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I made a frog. Now, some of you may have made a frog puppet with me before. Do you remember? Yes, that's right, with the paper bags. That's so cool. Now, I know not everyone has paper bags in their homes, so I decided to make a frog puppet out of just a regular piece of paper. Let me see if I have a regular piece of paper. Oh, I can use this one. Here we go. Just a regular piece of paper. I named this froggy out of just a regular piece of paper. And take a look. Let's see how it looks here. It's a really fun, very easy puppet. Can you tell what shape those are? This is the head and this is the body. Can you tell what shape it is? Yes, circles. And these are just papers that I cut out and glued together like glued together there, and they became hoops, like little bracelets or uh, like like earrings. Oh, the big earrings, the big frog earrings. Oh. <laughs> and I just cut out the little eyes here and the little legs and the feet. And then I also made a little head here where its eyes are, I'm sorry, a little eye area on top of the head. And then I also made a little fun tongue. How cool. And what's so fun, and I'll show you this later when we come back, is you can make this frog sort of bounce that's what the hoops do see the hoops there they have a lot of air in them so you can push down on it and you can make the frog bounce watch it also hops really well too watch cool all right, you guys are going to make your own frog puppet. Are you ready to make a frog puppet? You know what to do. Let's all snap together. Ready? On the count of three, let's snap together, and I will show you what you need to make your frog puppet. One, two, three. Okay, my friends. Here are the materials that you need to make your really cool, bouncy, hoppy, <laughs> Frog puppet. Boing, boing, boing. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. You're gonna need one sheet of paper. Now, I don't have any colorful construction paper. If you have green construction paper or red construction paper and white paper, you can just use those pieces of construction paper that are already have color to them. I don't have those color construction paper, so I'm gonna make my own colors just using this white sheet of paper. You're also gonna need some scissors. You're gonna need a black marker or pen. Whoa, red, red marker. It's, it's saying, hey, me, 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 me. <laughs> You're gonna need a red marker if you don't have red construction paper for the tongue. You're gonna need green marker. Again, if you have green construction paper, you don't have to color the paper. You already have colorful paper. You're also going to need a glue stick. 
glue stick. All right, let's make one of these puppets. So if you don't have green construction paper, you can use your green marker and color some of this paper to make the green parts of the frog. So here's what I'm gonna show you how to do, okay? So if you take your marker and you just color, I'm just gonna color maybe like the first third. So one, two, three. I'm just gonna color to like right here. So I'm gonna put a line right there, just so I know how far I wanna color. And I'm only gonna do one side. You can do both sides if you want, but I'm just gonna do one side. I'm just gonna color in the paper green green again i never i try not to do it too perfect just because i like there to be some lines in it just to like give it some texture and if you notice underneath my paper i have my mat now you may not have a mat like i have <laughs> but if you have a piece of cardboard to lay down underneath your paper you can go over the edges and you don't have to worry about getting marker on your table so there we go i just made the parts are colored the area of the paper that i'm going to use to cut out for the head and the body there's two little hoops there do you see so i'm going to cut out the head and the body. So let me show you how to do that really fast before we move forward. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I am going to cut the head first. Do you see how the head is a little bit thinner than the body? The body, you can see it better like that. The body's a little, just a tiny bit fatter and the head is a little thinner. So I'm gonna cut the head like so. I take my scissors. That looks like a good line right there. And I'm gonna cut straight on up. Just hold your scissors and your paper straight on up. There we go. Now, I've got a thin strip of green paper that will become the head. Now, the head is gonna be a little bit smaller of a hoop than the body. And I'll show you how to make that in a second. But now, I'm gonna make the big part of the frog's body. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him really big. I'm gonna make this frog fat. This frog ate a lot of flies for dinner. He's stuffed. So you see how one is thinner than the other? Here's the body, here's the head. Now check it out. You need your glue stick. Grab your glue stick. And then you can put a little glue on the bottom edge, just there. That's all you need, a little bit of glue stick right there. And then here comes the fun part. You're gonna twist it over and curl it around and make a little hoop. Boing, boing. That's kind of give our little frog its bounce. See what I'm talking about? Cool, now, remember what I said, the head I mean, you can make a really big head if you want, but I'm gonna make mine kind of small for my frog. So I'm gonna cut a little bit off. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cut maybe just, just like that much off. Let's see if that makes the head a little bit smaller. It should. Now I'm gonna take some glue. And I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom like that. And guess what? I'm gonna do this. To, oh wow, look at this frog. <laughs> this frog's got a big old body and a little tiny head. I love it. So now I'm just going to glue the head on top like that, right in the middle, you see? And you can kind of see that the frog, there's the back of my other frog. See how much bigger the body is on this one? <laughs> so now you can see the frog is starting to take shape. Woohoo! Now what do I need? Yeah, I need legs. Oh, see, I got those little legs down there and some legs in front. That's gonna help. See how my frog is like falling over? The legs are gonna help. It's like a bike's kickstand. It's gonna keep it from falling over. Falling over. 
So let's make some legs. Just grab that piece of paper that you had, that you made the bodies with. Grab your green marker again, and just start coloring some more paper. Again, if you have green construction paper, that's fine. You can make these out of your green construction paper, but I don't, so I'm gonna make it out of this white paper and my green marker. Okay, so I just made like a big block of green there, didn't I? You know what, I'm gonna make a little bit more. This, this is a big frog. He's gonna need some big legs to support him. <laughs> He's had a lot of flies. All right, here we go. This is the fun part. So, you're gonna cut out that square that I made. Cut out that square that you made, I should say. All right. Now, see what I did here? Now this is a little trick. This is a little Mr. Andy trick. Watch this. We wanna make these legs the same size and shape. I wonder how you do that. Yes, you fold it in half. Oh, you guys are so smart. So I'm gonna fold it in half like this. Da -da 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 -da. And now watch this. You can take your black marker and you can draw see how you have my legs are like long and like little like long and curled a little bit at the bottom so you can just take your 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 marker and you can draw look what i'm gonna do i'm gonna draw some big legs like that you know what i'm gonna even go over to the folded part I'm gonna cut around. I'm gonna be able to use that other part for the legs underneath. And now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna follow the line. Follow that line. Mr. Andy, you are crazy. Here we go. Mr. Andy likes to talk to himself and make voices. I don't know if you know that, but it's true. So check it out. I've got two legs. I got two legs here. And I'm gonna put those on the front of my froggy. And it should help him stay, stay up. All right, I'm gonna put some glue right here on his chest, just like that. And then watch this, I'm gonna put one leg there. And I'm gonna put another leg right here. <laughs> Whoa. Oh yeah, that's good. He's able to stay up. And if you wanna get really technical, you can make two little legs for underneath. All right, I wonder how I would do that. Oh yeah, I've got this piece of paper here. Now those legs don't have to be as long as those top legs, the arms, I should say, or the front legs. So I'm just gonna take that folded piece of paper so it's the same size, and I'm gonna draw two big froggy feet. Two big froggy feet. And then I'm gonna cut, keep the folded paper in the same spot so you have two. And then just cut along the line. That should be like an old song from the 70s. Cut along the line, or from the 50s. Cut along the line. You have no idea what I'm talking about, that's okay. Maybe your parents do, or your grandparents. Oh boy, I'm old. All right, so now take a little glue and put a little leg right there like that. Oh wow, how cool is this? And then I'm gonna put another piece of glue right there. And then I'm gonna put this leg all right over there. And then I've got my puppet. Oh yeah, what's missing? What's missing? What's missing here? Yeah, you're right. It's the eyes and the face and the tongue. Wow, okay. I wonder how I can do that. Oh yeah, if I just take my paper again, and I maybe, oh yeah, good idea. Somebody said it, <laughs> it's like I can hear you. If you draw your eyes on another piece, on the piece here, if you don't have white, you know, if you wanna make your eyes out of white paper and then glue them to green construction paper, if you have green construction paper, you can do that. But I'm just gonna draw the eyes right on the paper. So watch what I'm gonna do. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this little area. You know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna just decide how big the head wants to be, or the eyes, I should say. So let's do it right on the edge here. I'm gonna just draw where I want my eyes to go. 
Oh, yeah. That looks about right. I'm gonna make a little bit longer here because I'm gonna fold it right there. Do you see what I'm just saying? Cause like, look at that. I folded that down so I could glue it. So I measured it and that's where I'm gonna fold later. Now watch this. I'm gonna take and draw my eyeballs right there. Oh, these are wacky eyes, wacky eyes. Mr. Andy cannot draw circles. I think I've told you guys that before. And do you see this? I just made these little like froggy eyebrow parts. <laughs> They're like just two rounded little things over the eyes that frogs have. Now, this frog here has his eyes right in the middle. I'm gonna make this frog, this frog ate so much food that I'm gonna take his eyeballs and I'm gonna draw them right in the middle. Like he is saying, oh boy, I'm stuffed. I'm full of flies. Now, cool part, watch this. Take your green marker and you can just color around the eyes. Try not to get the green marker inside the eyeball, but it's okay. Look, oh, I went around that part. That's okay, because you're gonna cut that. Whoa, but don't go in the eyes. If you go in the eyes, it'll be green eyes. I mean, if you want green eyes, that's fine, but it's better if they're really bright so you can see them from far away. Okay, here we go. You guessed it. Time to cut out the eye parts. This frog is gonna look so different. You cut around the arc above the eyeball, then cut around the other arc of the eyeball, and then you gotta keep cutting down the side like this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, look what I got, look what I got. And now I can put it here. I just have to fold along that line that I said that I was gonna fold. <laughs> and then check it out. I take the glue and I put some glue right here. And then I put it right on top of my frog. Oh boy, look at this guy. This is... <laughs> My frog is so funny. Oh, I love it. He is so stuffed. Okay, now what else is missing? Yes, the nose holes and the mouth and the tongue. Oh, let's see here. I'm gonna take my black marker and I'm gonna draw two little nose holes right here, right like that, right where, right, see where that comes down where I folded that and glued it? I'm gonna put the nose holes right there and then this guy is just feeling it. He's really had a lot of food. So I'm gonna make a little mouth like this. Like he's like, Whoa. you can do whatever you want. You can put a big smile. You can make a frown. You can make a crazy mouth. It's totally fine. But I'm just gonna go straight across. Yeah, I have, a, I have like a big old smile on this frog. Now what do I need? Oh, I need the tongue. Oh, we're almost finished. So take your paper, unless you have red construction paper, and I'm gonna go right along the edge right here so it's nice and straight line right there. I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna, and again, if you have something to put down underneath your paper, this really helps because you can go right to the end. Check it out and guess what? I'm gonna do the other side. Oh, I can kind of see where the red is. I'm gonna go to the other side just because I'm gonna twist my tongue so it's nice and curled and that way it won't look white on the other side it'll look red so now i've got this part ready to cut are you ready cut 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 and then you can cut that part yes now check it out you have a tongue for your frog bah. Oh, ba ba ba, rid it, rid it, rid it. And just for fun, I'm gonna take my little marker that I use or my pen, and I'm gonna twirl that, like curl it around really tight. Uh oh, I think I broke it. No, I didn't. Whew. So then curl it around really tight Ooh, and see what happens. It curled up. And then I'll take a little glue and I'll put it right on its mouth. And then I'm gonna take the tongue i'm gonna put it right under its mouth check it out i got two frogs now ribbit 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 
Ribbit. Ribbit. Okay. I can't wait to see your frogs. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. You guys, that was so cool. I love making puppets with you guys. It's so fun every week trying to figure out a new puppet. I just love it. It's the best job in the world. So let's see. So here's the puppet I made. The second puppet I made, the big puppet. And again, you can just make your puppet move by just just making it bounce. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on my hand and it's gonna go burr, 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 burr. This one's funny because its belly is really big and its tongue sitting on its belly and it's like burr, 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 burr. He's a little cross-eyed too. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Can you make your puppet go ribbit, 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 ribbit and bounce? Boing, 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 boing. Oh, and you know what? If you they're so easy to make. After you make the first one, you can make five if you want. You got a frog family. You can make little tiny ones and big mama and daddy frogs. You can make little tadpoles. <laughs> anyway. If you have two puppets now, you can do a little puppet frog conversation. Like, I don't know, it could be like, Hey, did you uh, happen to see the Yankees game the other day? Brr, oh, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I'm not a Yankee fan, I'm a Mets fan. I don't know, totally improvised. Incredible. Anyway, <laughs> wow. I wanted to show you one more little puppet that I made, and it's actually back here. It was inspired by this book as well, and I was out taking a walk, just trying to get some exercise the other day, and I looked down on the ground, and I saw something that reminded me of the dragonflies in the story. You can probably see it, there it is. Watch. Can you tell what it's made of? Look really close. And I'm gonna give you a little closer snapshot of it from above after I show it to you. Yeah, they're made of seeds, like those little helicopter seeds. Let me show you, I've got an extra seed right here. You know those little helicopter seeds that go and they fall to the ground? Well, now's the time, and I'll tell you about it after I show you this, but now's the time to go out and you can find these really cool things. I just glued them together and I made a little dragonfly. They just reminded me of dragonfly wings and just a little stick, some glue, and those little antennae right there, those are actually the stems that are on the ends of these cool little seeds. Check out this little video, I'll show it to you. I'm gonna get a little closer for you, a little closer view from up top. Ready, here we go. Hey guys, check it out. So I have a little add-on puppet I wanted to show you, just an extra little thing that if you're feeling super groovy and you wanna make another puppet and you're outside maybe, like if you go for like a walk outside, it's really nice. Now is the time to get these things to make this. I made a little dragonfly puppet. Whoa, do you see that? Do you see my dragonfly puppet? Yeah. What's it made of? Can you tell? Yes, it's made of things that you find on the ground under a tree. This is a stick. These are little, I call them helicopters, but they're actually tree seeds. And you usually find them on the ground under a tree. And, and it's kind of the time because it, trees are letting go of their seeds and they're all over outside right now so if you see them pick up some and it really helps if you pick them up if they're together and they're not broken apart so if you can get one like that and another like that and they're together not separate it makes it easier and then i just have a stick i found the stick right next to them and then these are actually the little stems that were on there and what i did was i just took the little helicopter seeds and I glued them together like that. So one is going this way and the other one's going that way. And then I just glued them to the stick with some glue. And then I put a little glue right here and I put the little stems there from the antenna. Yay. I just wanted to show you this. It's just a fun little pond puppet because we have dragonflies in our, in our pond. Cool. 
awesome. That was so cool. You know, that's just a little add-on. If you wanted to like make another puppet and you feel inspired throughout the summer and you're like, you know, I see these little things that Mr. Andy talked about, these little seeds, they're flying everywhere. Well, let me just grab some and I'm gonna take them home and I'm gonna figure out how I can make a dragonfly puppet. Or if you are like super creative out there, which I know all of you are, you may be inspired to make a muskrat puppet or a raccoon puppet or a minnow puppet. Any animal in the story you can make a puppet of. I, I know you can. Anyway, my friends, I just wanna tell you how wonderful it is to be with you every week here and I hope we can get together again soon in person. I'm sure that day will come sometimes, but until then we have to make sure that everybody's safe and healthy. Let's just pat ourselves on the back one more time. Oh, and I'm gonna show you that email address where you can send me your stuff. It's Andy at AndyGockle.com. That's A-N-D-Y at a-N-D-Y-G-A-U-K-E-L dot C-O-M. Andy at AndyGockle.com. Always share your work with me and then I'll just keep passing it on. You guys, awesome. Give me a crap. Give me a clap. Give me a crap. Give me a crap. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, my friends. I will see you again.